Am I a racist? Quiz. Hey, it's Prince of Queens, and a massive percentage of people in contemporary culture are still going on and on about race, racism, and throwing out regular accusations that other people are racists. If you don't notice this anymore, it's probably because most leftists and social justice advocates have you and your friends blocked on social media so you never encounter them. However, what is interesting is that in the current year, conservatives, libertarians, and everybody else who doesn't identify entirely with mainstream left-wing politics has been fighting fire with fire for a while and mentioning that social justice advocating leftists are the real racists in their opinion. Basically, if you unquestionably consider yourself a member of the left, you're probably saying everybody who isn't a leftist is a racist. Conversely, if you haven't pledged undying allegiance to the left and you're a conservative, a libertarian, or just somebody who has become very critical of the left, you're likely calling everybody who still is a diehard leftist a racist. But if you're undecided, who's right? Who are the real racists? And are you a racist? Well, I've made a quick quiz that is divided into two sections that should hopefully answer this question about yourself. Here's section one, and if you are legitimately struggling with this, I urge you to answer these questions as honestly as you can for your own benefit. One, do you think that people should avoid judging people by their skin color whenever possible and that the content of one's character is more important than their appearance? Two, do you think that people of various ethnic backgrounds should be allowed to mix and exchange bits and pieces of their cultures, like hairstyles and clothing, which were traditionally popular within one culture? Three, do you think that you should have friends of all skin colors and that somebody mentioning that they have friends of all colors should be considered a sign of a non-racist person? Four, do you believe that people should tell other people that they are not racist if this person does not want to be considered a racist? Five, do you think white people should feel okay with being white? Six, do you believe inherently that all lives matter and that people should be allowed to express the viewpoint that all lives matter? Now that all of the questions have been asked, calculating your score is super simple. If you answered yes to all or any of these questions, then you will be considered a racist according to many intersectional feminist social justice advocating members of the left. I am not exaggerating or making stuff up. Let's review the questions, shall we? To review question one, it's plainly evident from all of these leftist feminist articles that are demonizing people who claim not to see color, to be colorblind, or to simply not care about race, that these leftist people are people that are actively asking people to judge other people by skin color ahead of the content of one's character. Granted, if one were to actually bother to read the full contents of each of these articles, they will undoubtedly find that these articles are claiming that denying the fact that a person of a different skin color has a different lived experience than another skin color is denial of reality that belittles the obvious truth of what people go through as individuals, which has an element of truth to it. However, by that logic, does that mean that people should instead base not just a small fraction of one's judgment of a person around skin color, but instead the majority of judgment during a conversation around somebody's race instead of their intellect? Well, according to countless leftist feminist blog articles, academics, and politicians, absolutely. 
these people do believe that people's ideas are valid only with the prerequisite that they originated from a person who wasn't white. They want you to listen to and believe what racial minorities say, even when they are flat out wrong, as long as they peddle the correct narrative, like when you are expected to believe black-on-black crime is not a thing. To review question number two, intersectional feminist leftists legitimately do believe that if cultures mix even ever so slightly, then that is a form of racism called cultural appropriation. They believe that if white people use supposed black slang like yes and work, that's a form of racist cultural appropriation. And even Asian people are persecuted if they have dreadlocks because supposedly dreadlocks belong to black people. To review question number three, while members of the intersectional feminist left will probably never actually claim that it's bad to have friends of all colors, they certainly will demonize anybody that ever mentions the fact that they have friends of all colors in a conversation about race, as is plainly evident when you Google search why having black friends doesn't mean you aren't racist. These people would likely claim that this only applies to situations in which people are actually racist, and then that person starts defending themselves by mentioning that they have black friends. But that's basically irrelevant due to the fact that people can be called a racist for doing things like having dreadlocks, so you can easily be put in situations where you are forced to prove that you aren't racist. And then, due to the fact that people will call you racist if you mention you have friends of all colors, you'll be Kafka-trapped into being further accused of racism once you try to defend yourself by saying that you aren't racist because you have a lot of friends that aren't white. Although they'd almost certainly deny it, it's as if these people want everybody to keep it a secret that they have black friends. To review question four, these intersectional people will often accuse you of being a racist for denying that you are a racist. This obviously mainly applies to white people and Asian people increasingly. Still, keep in mind that if you are a white person and you run with this crowd, you will not be considered cool unless you admit to your own racism and white supremacy, and they would prefer that you do this publicly. However, Depending upon the severity of the intersectional feminist critical race theory ethos of the crowd that you're running with, even super dark-skinned African Americans are expected to admit that they hold internalized racism within themselves, and if they don't admit that, it will be considered a sign of perpetuating white supremacy if you hang out with these people. To review question number five, no. Intersectionals do not think that it's okay to be white. They think that whiteness itself is problematic, to the point where they teach entire courses devoted to demonizing white people and white culture, and denying that white culture even exists, even at super white colleges like Arizona State. To review Question number six. While these people would usually say that all lives do, in fact, matter, and that people say black lives matter to focus on black lives because black lives are routinely taken and treated as disposable, especially at the hands of police, still, some of them actually do say that white lives don't matter occasionally. More so, they will almost certainly unanimously call people racist for casually mentioning that all lives matter. In summary, while I could definitely go on and provide more and more examples of all of this, I think it's plainly evident that amongst the intersectional feminist left, 
there are several views that could very tangibly be considered categorically non-racist or even anti-racist, if you wanted to use the term, that are being explicitly turned upon themselves very deliberately to the point where anti-racism is being accused of being racism. Or, in other words, many people would say that in order to not be considered racist by the intersectionals, you have to turn around and be a total racist. Which leads me to the second section of my quiz, which is the test for how people who aren't intersectional feminist social justice proponents generally determine whether or not somebody might be a racist. So, ask yourself these questions. Do you believe that, if it is at all possible, people should avoid judging people by the color of their skin? Do you think that in cases where you have the opportunity to learn something about individuals that goes beyond their appearance, people should be judged by the content of their character instead of their skin color? Do you think that in cases where you only have somebody's skin color to judge them by, you should suspend judgment until you know more about them? If you answered yes to these questions, then congratulations. You aren't a racist. And you can hang out with me and my friends. Which crowd do you think that you'd like to run with? <laughs>